Hey everyone, it's Fake for Life here with uh, toy hunt number 10. And not really toy hunt this time, but if you guys didn't know, today, May 6th, is uh, 2023, is free comic book day. Uh, so I'm here in my hometown. Again, if you guys saw my personal update, you guys kind of know why I'm going to be in my hometown every once in a while for a little while. But um, I'm at Third Eye Comics, Waldorf, Maryland, and we're going to be doing a quick live stream. Uh, they gave me the okay, so we're going to head right in. So let's go ahead and flip this. Sorry, I forgot to bring my uh, my gimbal and stuff. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be heading into Third Eye Comics. My cousin, Paul, is the one who told me about this store. At least in the local sense. He still comes here. But as you can see, it's a really nice comic shop. Uh, T-Man has done a live stream or a, a toy hunt from uh, some of their other locations. I think they have one in Annapolis and I forget where the other one is. But again, it's free comic book day, 2023. So if you're in the Waldorf, Maryland, Southern Maryland area, everything here is 15% off. Hey, Wednesday, how's it going? So we're, we're gonna do just a quick tour of the store and then, um, yeah, that's gonna be it. So if you guys don't know what free comic book day is, it's this first Saturday of every May, every year where a bunch of comic book shops come together to distribute some free comics to get folks into uh, American comic books. Um, it's just a great way to kind of promote um, the industry and so forth. So I did meet one of the managers, I think, or maybe the owners. He was nice enough to say, um, yeah, oh, go ahead. And this is the free comic book table. So if you have kids, or anything like that, or are you into comics, this is a great day to just come by and you can pick up any of these on this table for free. So there's a bunch of stuff. So there's some DC stuff, Ninja Turtle stuff, Last Comics on Earth. Definitely gonna pick this up for my daughter who really likes it, likes that series. Um, they got some Marvel stuff here, Star Wars, some Fright Night stuff, Babysitters. Oh, definitely gonna get this one, the Spider-Man Venom one. What else does he have? Splatoon, Uncanny Avengers, with Captain Krakoa. Some good ones for the kids here. Umbrella Academy, if you're watching that on Netflix, Conan the Barbarian. And I think um, at this particular location, they're gonna have, uh, I think, Jim uh, Zub, who, um, oh yeah, you can see here. I believe he's doing a signing here today. I don't know the de exact details of when he'll be here doing the signing, but wanted to show that off it wouldn't be a comic book store without a bunch of toys and a bunch of pop in particular so they have a huge wall of pop you can see some anime stuff naruto attack on titan um dbz super uh, some disney princess stuff flash stuff so yeah we'll do a quick scan of these Yeah, and again, if you're just joining and you're in the area of Maryland, Southern Maryland, they all do have 15% off today. Here's a bunch of toys that they have in Detolfs. I know all us Transformers and uh, action figure collectors are very familiar with the Detolfs. John Wick stuff. Some cyberpunk stuff. Oh, Dave Batista. Some anime stuff. Hawk Girl. DC Iconic Joker Storm Shadow Some Marvel stuff uh, My Hero stuff here Oh, One Piece Obviously some of my favorite Boa Hancock I definitely ship Boa Hancock and Luffy Come at me If you're a Luffy Nami fan. More pops here. Sinister Strange. I also want to see the new Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. I don't know if I'm going to have a chance to watch that anytime soon. Um, but we'll see. I might try to watch that today by myself. Some more comics. Toys up here. It seems like this is the way most comic book stores work. They put the toys on like the top shelf. Oh, they have manga. They have a huge manga section here. 
This whole wall with the graphic novels. Oh, Amulet. My son reads Amulet, or at least used to. I think it's a good young adult series, fantasy series. We have a bunch of toys up here. Again, One Piece, one of my favorite series. Ooh, Dr. Stone. If you guys haven't read this series, it's a pretty short series. It's really quite good. We also have an anime. Oh, sorry, more toy stuff here. Some wrestling stuff with The Fiend. Hey, Alex B, how's it going? Oh, hey, Primax. Brock Lesnar, we have Backlash uh, tonight, so I'll be watching that. Otis, Frankie Kazarian, the recently inducted Hall of Famer, Ray Mysterio. Oh, some Gremlin stuff up here. Oh, Alien vs. Part of the Game. Oh, I've never seen these before. This is cool. This is one of the best beat em ups uh, ever. I love I love this game. I have that on the arcade on my Oh I know people were asking about uh, previously on one of my toy hunts, Brooklyn for the from the Gargoyle series. I'm hoping whoever that was at that time actually was able to pick one up. I think they were asking for Broadway in Brooklyn. Some of the last Ronin stuff here. If you guys haven't seen that, there, I think they said they're gonna make a movie out of that. Some busts. We got the iconic Bruce Lee, the iconic Godzilla, uh, some kind of Cthulhu. Ooh, a rocket. Ooh, these are pricey though. Hopefully the quality's coming through okay here. I'm just on my cellular, so I don't know how good the network is here. But let me know if you guys are also taking part in free comic book day wherever you're located. Oh, that's a pretty good Zachary Le uh, Levy or Levi. Levi? a Cyclops Mo. I don't know anything about that. For us Transformers fans, we do have the Bishoju uh, statue. Vader Ray Bill. Superboy Prime. That actually looks pretty good too. I like the uh, thin face. I think these are some. I think this is pretty old. Apocalypse. Some Marvel Legends stuff. Let's see. This wall doesn't have a whole lot going on. Aside from comics, and a bunch of uh, graphic novels. So we'll just skip over that. We'll just pass by over here. Your the required anime candy section. Some posters, Rick and Morty. Some classic monster photos. Bunch of stuff in here. Some more really famous collections. Omnibuses, Flashpoint, All-Star Superman, Suicide Squad. Uh, King of the Seven Seas, Aquaman. I don't know. I don't think know anything about this. Edges Spider Verse featuring Spider Rex. I don't know anything about that. Some kind of Spider Venom. Oh, Spider Killer. Peacemaker. John Cena. Carnage Reigns. Oh, with a uh, Red Goblin. Yeah, I don't really read a lot of American comics or keep up to date with American comics much nowadays, but I try to at least stay broadly up to date on what's going on with the big stories. 
Oh, they got some replica swords up here. The Witcher, the Geralt sword, Cersei sword. I don't know, this one, Bait Stay. Oh, must be an an uh, anime. Some Demon Slayer swords up there. So that's pretty cool, they have some cool replica stuff. Coming back here, they do have a, a bunch of more toys and statues. I hope they do a decent job with the Craven movie. Um, I don't know. Sony, I've lost a lot of faith in their live action movies, so I'm hoping it's good, but who knows. Speaking of Spider-Man, there's Spider-Punk in the back. Uh, excited about Spider-Man 2 for PS5 or, or, or PlayStation. Miles Morales. If you're into customization, they have some paint stuff. Oh, they have a whole Gundam section here. Model kit section. I really need to start building my backlog of Gundam and model kits. But every time I come to these sections, I'm always tempted to pick up something new. Like, I kind of want to try some of these Dragon Ball Super ones. And I know they have some like new versions of them that have additional articulation or something like that. Uh, or muscle build or something like that. I read about that the other day. Oh, Zoids. I don't know, does, are, are Zoids still a thing? I have no idea. I just remember that from when I was a kid. All right, they're, they have a bunch of back issues if you're into that. They also have a game section. Azul, one of my really close friends is a, or at least used to be a big board game fanatic. Uh, shout out to Mike. And he was always trying to get us to try different things. He got us into Catan and all of our group basically never got off of Catan. He tried to get us into like Azul and, um, what was it, Puerto Rico or something like that? Um, Letters to Whitechapel. We did play that. Pandemic. But basically our, our team, our, our group of friends were like, no, nope, we're just going to play Catan forever. Take it to ride. Uh, a bunch of uh, swords up here. Kingdom Hearts stuff. Demon Slayer stuff. Seven Deadly Sins. Genshin Impact. So yeah. This is basically coming to end of the store here. Here's some collections and everything like that. I don't know. Oh yeah. So I think that's pretty much it. Wanted to at least do a quick toy hunt this week because again, uh, things are kind of busy personally. So I probably won't be able to do another review until um, early next week when Fans Toys Recorder, aka Masterpiece Blaster, comes out. So when that comes out, I'll definitely do that. Uh, I should be home for that. So I think that that's it for today. This is Third Eye Comics in Waldorf, Maryland. They also have two other locations. Again, I think one is in I want to say Annapolis, and other one is somewhere else. But I'll link all the information in the description below once I get home. Again, this is Free Comic Book Day 2023. So if you have a local comic shop. Come in and grab your free comics like I am. All right. Thanks, everyone. All right. Appreciate all you for lifers. Have a good one. Bye.